And here we are with the Indianapolis Colts under coach Bill Cower. Uh, Cower's first year, they made the playoffs, but didn't really go very far. We see Peyton Manning, a 34-year-old, 97 overall, X-Factor, solid contributor there. I think that's like Tony Pike or something like that as a backup. Uh, not really worried about that. I mean, if Manning does go down, they're kind of screwed. Uh, they do have Chris Johnson, who was their first-round pick in 08. Uh, he has, of course, been solid for them. They signed Leon Washington, so that he's a good, I always saw him as a good receiving running back. Uh, they brought him over from New York, and then I think it's uh, Gartrell Johnson over there at the third running back spot. He was a seventh round pick last year, 26th overall. Uh, then you have Reggie Wayne, who's getting older, and you can see he lost some of his uh, star power. They did draft Victor Cruz with the fifth round selection. They have PK Sam, who was a former Texan. Uh, he, Sam was on their team last year. They have Jason Hill, who is now a star dev and definitely was a uh, value target for Manning. But yeah, they probably could have done better in the receiving market. I haven't been as active with them trading other than I did trade for Jeremy Shockey. I gave away a second round pick to the Giants and they bring in Jeremy Shockey, who is going to be uh, a real breath of fresh air for Manning to have a target like Shockey. He's had Bubba Franks for several years now from Green Bay. But Franks is getting older and Shockey is still old, but he's at least an 84. Then you can see they have Jeff Backus and then Ebron Britton. Britton. And uh, Britton is going to likely take over that starting job very shortly. He was drafted in the first round last year. He's still kind of that backup, but he's kind of learning underneath the veteran. Uh, Backus uh, is probably not going to be continued very long because he's getting old. Uh, there's Mike Breezel, uh Jeff or Jeremy Zuta. Let me double check if he's when I drafted him. Yeah, it's uh, Jeremy Zuta uh, at center, a good 77 overall. Ornenberger, uh, right guard, probably their weak link. And then Vernon Carey at right tackle. This obviously is very much a pass offense because of Manning. Uh, they have John Kuhn at running at a fullback there. But I've started to move the Colts to being somewhat of a balanced uh, pass to run because of Chris Johnson. I don't want to waste Chris Johnson's uh, strengths. But what I've started to do, to do too is do more screens, do more running back uh passes because Chris Johnson can catch the ball and just run to the house with it. Then on defense, we see the Colts have uh, Dwight Freeney on one side and they sign Luis Castillo, who is an 80 overall. So he's a very talented defensive end. He is just not no longer, especially like a star or a superstar. We see uh, Johnson and Hill in, on the interior side of things. Uh, what's great about that is Johnson, uh, reliable defensive tackle over 81 or 80 over one. He is an 81 overall. They did sign Marcus Stroud, who used to be with the Jacksonville Jaguars, good DT. Uh, definitely a veteran who can take on that that workload as the third, fourth string guy. He can fill in if there's an injury. They do have an, under their uh, linebackers. They drafted Sean uh, Witherspoon with a 25th overall pick, a very much needed selection. I may have mentioned this before in other videos, but linebackers tend to be the weakest position in my league. So if you can get a good linebacker, you go for it. And so some of the good, when you're a good team and you have a lot of talent and you don't really have many needs to fill, the need you fill or the next best player available will always be a linebacker. As you can see, they have Kyle Vandenbosch, a uh, left outside linebacker, who's a good linebacker, but he is old. And so we're going to probably need to replace him at some point. Uh, we have Dequel Jackson, um, one of my favorites, a uh, former Cleveland Brown in real life. Uh, he was drafted on the Colts in this franchise uh, with the 32nd overall pick in 2006 after they won their first Super Bowl. Then there's Fabian Washington, Richard Kalinoff. Uh, Jabril Wilson, Brandon Merriweather, and their DBs are very solid. So, I mean, I'm very happy with how they were built. You see Brandon uh, Merriweather. He was the first-round pick uh, in 2007, their 32nd overall pick, after winning their second Super Bowl. And so this team is uh, is built for success. I think they're a very solid team there, good against the pass, good against the run, uh, kind of quality players throughout their defense. And then you can see with their special teamers, they have Todd Sauerbrunn and Mike Nugent at kicker. Nugent was very good for them. Uh, I had to move on from Vanderjack, and I thought that, yeah, there's no one better than just going with Mike Nugent, getting the young leg there, and he's been fairly good for them 
because uh, he was a, th- I think, oh yeah, I, I paid, used him with a third round pick in 2005 for Mike Nugent. So I really may have, but they only had like five picks. I traded many of them away. So I made sure I got the best kicker in that draft and he's an 82 overall and he's been very reliable for them. So here we go with the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, very high expectations for them. Uh, they should make the playoffs almost every year with Manning. Uh, I'd be very shocked if they did not. Uh, I think they missed it one or one year or so, and, and that was in Madden 20. Uh, that was like my first season, I think, because I think it was the Titans that got the got the top of the AFC South. But since then, it's mostly been the Colts division. Well, thanks for watching, and feel free to give feedback on what you think is the strength of this team or how they should improve and where you think they're going this season.